Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go over a room called Submit on tryhackme.com. This room is fantastic and it covers a lot of content uh, in terms of detection engineering, creating rules on firewall, DNS and other stuff. And let me just go over it. So basically we are going to apply rules based on pyramid of pain. If you remember uh, at the bottom we have hash uh, if you go up, you will have IP, domain, and you will have tools, maybe, and tactics and te te techniques of the attacker. So in each stage of the pyramid, it's going to be harder to detect the malware. And in each stage of the pyramid, it's going to be harder for attacker to create another technique or tool to achieve their goal. So uh, let's just uh, visit the application that is presented to us and here we can see we received an email hey i'm sphinx and i'll be working with you on conducting threat simulation and detection engineering tests and in the we have a malware sample to analyze and in this pico secure environment we have malware sandbox ma manage hashes to block deny hashes firewall manager to again uh, add ip addresses uh, as a rule on firewall to block or accept uh, connections and we have an, again DNS filter and we have a customized Sigma rule builder to create different and custom rules for our environment okay so first let's analyze the sample one that exe and let's see what's the output how can we detect and prevent this sample okay Okay, in the output we only receive uh, a solid SHA-256 hash to detect and prevent this malware. And now we are going to go to manage hashes and then select SHA-256 and add the hash value. And, then, and now you can see nice work, you prevented sample 1.exe. Now we receive another email and we also receive the first flag to here in the second example let's see the output let's see the report of the analysis on malware sandbox this is very similar to any run and it's different now because we have access to the network activity and now we can see an IP address connected after uh, running on the system it sends a get request to this IP address over the port of 4444 a usual port used by the attackers and all we have to do now is to use our firewall manager to block traffic from any source to this destination and action deny which is going to prevent the sample two to connect the C2 server. And now we receive the flag two. And let's see what's different in the sample three. Let's see what the penetration testers changed in this example. So I guess we are not gonna use hash and IPs. If I go down, you will now see a URL but there's a domain right so this is our suspicious domain microsoft.com is not our suspicious domain actually right Explorta cloud services looking suspicious and it's making a connection to this IP address We are going to go to DNS rule manager and create a rule to detect and prevent this uh, domain from access. And we can just say sample three and then enter the domain and then action deny. And now you can see nice work. The DNS filter rule prevented sample three that exe from connecting to the testers command and control server. Okay. We have received our, I guess, third flag right and let's look at the next sample let's see what we are going to use now so 
So we now know we can't use hash, we can't use IP or domain. What's different in the sample is it is now having registry activity. And in this registry activity, we see write events. So if I set a rule called, hey, if hey, look at this register key, if it changes to uh, value one of, or if any program or application process uh, uses write operation on this register key, let me know or prevent this action. So all we have to do is copy the key and the key name. In this sample, we are gonna use the Sigma rule builder to create a rule by using sysmon event logs and we are going to use registry modifications and the register key is this register key name will be the disable real-time monitoring and the targeted value is one and this is about defense evasion right it is disabling the security systems in the system and let's validate the rule your Sigma rule has been validated and automatically deployed. So we now have the next flag. Awesome. Okay, let's look at the next malware. So now it's telling me you can't use IP hash domain and registry because I am also changing my tactics. Okay. Check out the logs and try to create a rule to detect my uh, super uh, malicious activity. So let's look at the logs. We can see from same source to different destinations over uh, different ports. You can see 443, 80, IP addresses change uh, in, in a couple of hours, but port uh, values are changing also for for 380 but if you can see the size rem remains at 97 bytes and it is checking the command and control server for every 30 minutes as you can see so this is looking like a pattern right and what we can do is we can uh, write a sigma rule for sysmon event logs and for network connections and the remote IP can be any right because it's different every time and the remote port can be any but the size is 97 and the frequency is it is 30 minutes so uh, it is asking me in seconds format so I need to multiply uh, 30 by 60 which is 1800 right and the attack ID will be command and control and let's validate the rule and now you can see we have passed we can detect this so let me copy this and now we are on to the last flag in this room and in the last task he says, I have attached the recorded command logs from all my previous samples to understand better what actions I tend to perform on my victims to extract info once I have removed access. Good luck. Okay, let's look at the command logs. And we can see it is collecting some info from CC document settings to temp xfilter dot log and we can see everything uh, everything is basically forwarded to uh, this file right under the temp xfield 8.log so the command could vary because we can see net start net stat no ip config system info so it's different but uh, the log file remains the same in each example so again we are going to create a rule on Sigma rule builder, we're gonna create a rule in Sysmon event logs, and then we are gonna create a rule with a process creation, and the process name will be the command.exe, which is cmd.exe, and if it contains 
this string, which is temp field 8log which is about collection, prevent or detect this event. And we just completed the submit and we have received our last flag in this room. Let me also copy that. So this was an awesome experience. And if you haven't gone through this room, I definitely uh, recommend you to do this on your own. And then if you are stuck at some point, go and uh, come and visit this video again. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.